intense race to avoid total meltdown. Our Neil Karlinski is in to uh, Tokyo and has the latest for us there. Good morning, Neil. Robin, good morning. New developments seem to come up all the time. We're getting reports right now of highly radioactive water leaking uncontrollably, we're told, from one of the plants. This comes as the head of the operation to bring it all to a halt has been removed from the command center suffering from exhaustion. He is at the top of a highly controversial Tokyo Electric Company that is now in the eye of the storm, which is why we visited their headquarters today looking for answers. In new video this morning, you can see smoke billowing from reactors two and three, the only visible sign of the catastrophe happening inside. Officials now say those reactors and reactor one have damaged fuel rods and may in fact be in partial meltdown. The news comes a day after the company in charge seemed to be in meltdown, retracting their own report that radiation had spiked millions of times and prompting an unusually harsh criticism from the government today. Such a mistake is not something that should be forgiven or acceptable, said this Japanese government spokesman. So we went to TEPCO headquarters, the Tokyo Electric Power Company that owns the reactors. Japanese media practically live here, waiting for details during sporadic briefings like this one, where we didn't hear many hard questions being asked. This company has admitted many mistakes. Your credibility is basically shot, according to many experts. Why should anyone have faith that this company Company can get the job done without help. We are so sorry to inconvenience everybody, he says. We are trying to stabilize the situation. We're trying to give out the most accurate information. In the hallway outside, we tried again. Shouldn't more outside help be brought in? His response surprised even us. I agree with you, actually, but we are doing our best. We're also getting a rare look inside the exclusion zone from a daring British newspaper reporter who drove through the radiation and right up to the gates of the leaking nuclear plant. And he asked us to check him with our Geiger counter. All right, a little bit on the hood here. Did you have the hood up when you were outside? Yeah, yeah. As you approach the power, and the actual power plant itself, you begin to see more and more uh, of the guys who come to be known as the Samurai or the Fukushima 50. Did anyone try to stop you? Um, but they were making a symbol like this, which is basically forbidden dogs. An incredibly brave journey, though, likely not the smartest one. That reporter tells us he is now worried about his health. As for those reports of a possible meltdown, officials here say they are not sure, but they believe at least a partial one is going on, that some of the rods have begun to melt. Robin? We're going to talk more about that, Neil. Thank you. By bringing in physicist Michio Kaku. And Michio, when you hear about what is now being reported, the multiple meltdown mode being in that, what does it mean for the radio la uh, radiation levels in Japan and for the people there? I think we're going to see more uncontrolled releases of radiation. At Unit 2, radiation levels are 100,000 times above normal levels. Workers have to be evacuated. You would get a lethal dose in just a few hours. And what it means is water is being in contact with melted fuel. Melted fuel releases iodine in large quantities, and that's what we find in Units 2 and Units 3. So I think the utility has been lowballing all these numbers, downplaying the risks, and you begin to wonder, I mean, is Homer Simpson operating this nuclear power hmm. plant? Well you, well, you well, you saw in Neil's report when he was asking a number of the people there questions and what they were saying to him, Michio, and the, uh, the water that is leaking uncontrollably at this point. Tell us more about that. There could be a breach of containment in Units 3 and Units 2. In other words, a crack, not just in the outer wall, but a crack in the inner wall, the vessel itself, meaning there's a direct contact between melted fuel and the outside environment. And that could be responsible for the uncontrolled release of very, very toxic fuel. Now remember, at some point in the future, if we have to evacuate all the workers because radiation levels are too high, mm -hmm. that's the point of no return. At that point, radiation levels soar, water levels drop, and we have a full-scale simultaneous meltdown at three nuclear power stations. And as the situation gets worse there at the reactor, what does it mean, possibly mean, Michio, for the rest of the world? 
I think for the rest of the world, we have to realize that we have a Faustian bargain. Faust was the mythical figure who sold his soul to the devil for unlimited power. And the final ace in the hole may be the Japanese military. The utility is overwhelmed. At some point, I think they should be removed from leadership, a team of top scientists put in charge, with the authority to call out the Japanese military. My goodness. Well, Michio, thank you again for your perspective and insight. And I know we'll be talking to you throughout the week. Thanks so much.